If you guys can figure out what I'm, what's different about me from all the other videos, just put a comment in there if you know. Yeah. It's something really simple. So yeah. We'll 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 put a dis we'll put something in the in the in the end to, to let's see if you were right or not. We'll, we'll send you I'll a just I'll just respond to the comments. Yeah, we'll yeah. respond to the comments see if you're right or not. Yeah. We're recording. Welcome to Homesteading at Diamond Time. I'm Greg. Bernie's behind the camera because yep. he forgot to say it. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yep. So we're here today. It's just we're going to talk of why we haven't shot a video in quite a while. We've been extremely busy. Yeah. As you can notice, we got all our cows are together. We got uh, for the bull calves. Finn's behind, hiding behind the bale. And just wait. Just wait. I, can, I don't have my glasses on, but Finn is over there somewhere. Yeah. You can just see a light tan calfling. That would be, that's what I call them. There's no such word. Kind of like a halfling in Middle Earth, except it's a calfling. Sorry for the traffic going by. Oil trucks, you know. We live in oil. Yep. And then. So that one there is Hershey. I don't know if you can see Hershey. He's just lying down in the corner. I'm going to lift this up a bit. We're gonna go down and talk about them, but right now we just want to get a long shot. Okay. Yeah. So we've been really busy because uh, a friend of ours, we have two of his milk cows here, and and they were moved from a big dairy to a homestead farm. So we had to handle them completely different, give them extra love, ever extra attention to get them used to here. Evie. Uh, Evie the one uh, you, won't, you can't really see her, you see her butt right now. Well, we'll go down in a sec. And uh, she was actually de depressed, and it took us a long time to get her, you know, where she's happy, she loves it here, and the whole night. Okay, years. so how do you know she was depressed? She... Her she, milk production dropped down to... She was a 15 liter cow out of the dairy. We would never expect her to do 15 out of the chute when she comes here, but she wasn't even getting eight not even ten she was doing like a liter two liters one day she gave nothing and she suffered from a side bloat which I consider more nerves than actual bloat bloat although I did take it seriously and keep an eye on her um, and I mean head down alone quiet she didn't want to be around anybody yeah, she was depressed and she just needed a friend. Okay, let's go down and we'll just uh, walk and talk. So that's my telescope. I'm just trying to get it working today. Yeah. Yeah, it's been two years. Okay, I'm going to just turn this off real quick. Okay, so we're down from the telescope stand and we're just going to walk to the cows. We're trying not to get them to move because seriously, they just got in and I don't want them leaving. Um, so this is Ellie Belly. That's L. We call her L, but she has a lot of nicknames. Ellie Belly being one of them. Um, this, this is this is Star. This is or I call her Miss Suspicious. Yep, she is so fat. I believe she could be pregnant. She could just be fat. Star is three quarters Jersey. I know she doesn't look it. Now we don't want them to leave. Oh, there, there you can see a little bit of jersey so, right here. <laughs> yeah. So that cow with the head there, pointer here? out, that, that Calypso? that's Calypso. She belongs to a friend of ours. Her and Evie belong to a friend of ours. Mm -hmm. And we're milking them and taking care of them for him for the time being. Okay, so that's Calypso. Let's try not to, don't touch them. Don't. I don't want them to get up. He's going to get up. Okay, so... Just a second, this stupid camera keeps turning off. That right there with the horn is the bull. This beautiful one is Evie. She took a good month before she would produce. And this is the one that was in depression and everything. Yeah, and now her and Greg are good friends and that's, that's really, really good. I hope this comes out because this video is jumping all over the place. Anyway, that's Evie. She has a halter on because she can be 
Sometimes when she leaves the milk stall, she doubles back, and we if she makes a run for it, we need something to keep to keep our hands and on her. Once you grab her halter, she calms right down. Yeah. So Jackson's on the ground there with the black face, just chewing her Jackson, cud. He's our sweetheart. Anybody that knows all of our cows will say you're missing someone. Well, JJ's over. Okay, so the same guy that owns Calypso and Evie, he has JJ right now. She is out for breeding. So this is the bull. And I mean, it's been a busy month trying to get everybody bred. This is the bull. This is Tass. But he was too big to breed the heifer. So we brought him over to a friend of ours. And if you guys do a search on Speckled Park, you will see what we've bred her to. And actually, we were over there one day getting grain, and we're going to talk about that too later. And she, he would, the bull and her were super close, and he was nudging her. And so we figure either she just got out of heat, or she was just going into heat. And the bull that we bred her to, we said Speckled Park, but Freckles is actually Half Jersey, Park, Jersey, no three. Park. He's probably a, we Park. don't even know. Um, I'm gonna go over here behind Whatever. Tass. Okay, come with me. Okay. Yes, I know he's a Jersey bull, and there he is. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, Freckles. Okay, so we're gonna try to trace back the lines. You want to do it? Okay. Trace them back from Star. Okay, so Star, uh, uh, Kay, Ka Cassie, the cow we used to have, we got what now Ken owns. Yeah. Her mom, she is about, we figure she's a half <coughs> Jersey. Excuse me. So JJ is three, was full Jersey. Not JJ. Oh, yeah, JJ. Sorry. JJ is I know full what you're Jersey doing. because uh, Rusty was her dad and Rusty yeah. has passed um, with Jackson. So JJ is full Jersey, uh, and we know for a fact that um, Cassie is <laughs> at least half Jersey. So that would make uh, freckles, freckles, three quarters Jersey or quarter Jersey and three quarters speckled park or, or no. half speckled park and whatever the other quarter of she half is. speckled park and a half a quarter. No wait, a quarter, a quarter Jersey, Jersey and, and a quarter, quarter beef. Uh, Semitol. Semitol. We think, we think, based on Star, that uh, um, the the cow that Cassie's mom was bred to was Semental. Yeah. Does this all make sense for you guys? Uh, she was a Jersey, but she was, her mom was a Jersey, but she, but uh, she was a Semital. Yeah. Her dad was a Semital. Okay, so we're going to go back through that line again. So, Cassie, if you guys remember, we used to call her Killer because she was mean 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 at times and um, that is star's mother okay you know she's got to be pregnant that's a p anyway so we figured cassie is half beef and half jersey which makes total sense um because around here people run beef even though cassie's out of saskatchewan most people close to the border they run beef so if you have a Jersey milk cow or a nurse cow, you're going to breed that to your beef bull. So we figure half and half. Yep. Then star would be, we figure she's around three quarters. This is Hershey, guys. We're going to get back to that. Okay, we'll wait. And then Jackson's, just wait, Jackson's daughter, which obviously is a heifer. Jackson's lying down there. Her daughter is full Jersey, and she was bred back to a speckled park who, like we said, is half speckled park, which is a breed out of Saskatchewan, I believe, Canada. It's a Canadian breed. It's a Canadian breed bred out of Saskatchewan. Yeah, a quarter beef and a quarter... Ow! A quarter Jersey. You bit me, you little bum. So this is the next... Hershey here will be the next in line for... Um, Breeding. for breeding and he'll be able to take on um, JJ next year for sure he'll be the same size and that one over there that is Finn and he is just in case anything happens to Hershey and as luck would have it thank you so much I'm not gonna say your name just to keep you safe but for the lady from the dairy where we got Hershey 
Thank you so much. Oh my God, he's beautiful. Oh, that's more than I wanted to see. Um, okay, so we've been super duper busy milking and trying to get the new cows on the ground accustomed to us, to our milkways, and to, to the other cows and everything. Um, when it comes down to Evie, Evie didn't want to go in the rotational milker, so they had to put her in the old parlor to milk her, and it was getting a bit much, I guess, and everything they told us about Evie is so true. She is so stubborn. She doesn't like new things, new places, new people, so it has taken us a long time to get Evie up to snuff, and she's turning out to be just totally beautiful totally beautiful right yes she's becoming a, a, a sweetheart she comes in you just have to open the gate both Calypso and and they just walk right in you just open the gate you don't have to guide them they'll walk right into the milk stall and yep leaving the milk stall on the other hand is a totally different story That's because they like their green so as you can see they're not they're not inside anywhere they run pasture um, all summer like they were just out on the far pasture there and they've all just come in for the afternoon and they'll go back out later now we have been trying you can just butt in anytime you want okay. we've been trying to get all these cows bred um it's a little late in the year but uh i wanted calves more around the april time frame so we've been trying to get them bred and what i did was i put Jackson and I put L in with the bull and they ran with the bull full-time for about a month and then I put Evie in for a while because I didn't know Evie's heat cycle so I had her I put her in after milking and then Greg started doing it and then around 2 3 in the afternoon I'd it, I'd pull her out and then you know, when two hours later it's time for milking. She'd stay out overnight, go back in the next day. Um, yeah, she could have gone into heat overnight, but the bull and other cows would have told us. Star, uh, the, the, the one standing up with the white tail, she pretty much lets us know who's in heat and who's not. Okay, so we're going to tell you a story. Um, do you want to tell your part about the first time we caught Tass out? Which one? This year? When he was doing uh, Calypso. Oh. Yeah, okay. he's always out, so, you know, and which one? <laughs> I can't remember what I was doing, and I'm, I'm looking at Cass, and I'm going, oh, look at that, he's sniffing one of the girls are in heat. Talk a bit louder. And uh, so, I can't remember, I think I was back over there somewhere. Yeah, so. we were both o oh. over there by that fence line. And I could see through, and I could see where the garden and our fence line there, and I go, oh, look at that, somebody's in heat, because Cass is whatever. And I, I, I go and do something else, and I look again, and I'm going, wait a minute, Tass is on the... Hang on, there's more to that story. So, Greg actually said, Tass is mounting, he, he's up, he's, he's, he's breeding. And I said, really? That's great, because we figured it would be, it would be Evie. Okay, so then I look over, because I was with Greg, and I look over and I'm like, oh, come on, Tass can't be mounting anybody, Evie's standing right there chewing her cud. And then Greg's like, no, 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 he really was. And then continue on, Greg. Well, then he, what we found out, she was, he was, Cass was on this side of the fence, mounting Calypso. <laughs> and Calypso is the second cow standing up. Yeah. She's yeah. chewing her cud yeah, alongside she's the, she's got the black face. Yeah. Yeah. So Tass was out um, mounting Calypso, who we weren't going to really do until September, but being a little homestead we really don't have the fencing to keep him in when somebody's in heat so between greg and i and i wasn't terribly a lot of help we got tass and calypso back into the bull pasture tass did his thing and then you know around two or three we got calypso out and you can tell when they're done right because they're, they're, they're yeah if you want to know the signs when a jersey cow has been bred just google it because the horrification when you read it, and when you, and, and it's true. It, it, it's really, really, really <laughs> true. The things that they say to look at really does happen. So if you're really interested, I'm not going to say it because 
It just sounds wrong. Okay, I'll say it. Oh, okay. Sometimes they'll shoot okay. back out the semen and the fluids. Then their tail, their tail will cock over. Their tail sometimes will kink. Kink over. And, and oh, this is the wrong cow. And move over it, it, to the side. It, 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 okay, it's okay, it's okay. It'll move over so it leaves that exposed. You're good. This is after they're bred, guys, and, and their tail. And, 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 and their, and their, I don't know what you call it, the, uh, uh, this part will, will pulsate. And, and, they'll, and they'll do a funny, they'll do a funny, um, uh, like, can you still see me? Yes. It, you can see it more on Evie. This part here. That's Calypso. Or, sorry, Calypso. Talk loud. <laughs> this part on Calypso, well, it, she'll, she'll, con she'll contract it, eh? Yeah, this, this, will, this will move, like, or they'll lay down and they'll do... Yeah, and they're, they're they're working, they're working the semen down because the bull can only enter about this far, but the semen has to make it all the way down to about here. So and they do this stuff to force it down, and if you pay attention, you'll actually see it. Okay, yeah, they got it. You know. And 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 two other things. Uh, one, she'll she'll hold her tail higher away from her back end. Yeah, she'll hold it. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, wait, just wait. wait. Just wait. It I'll turned it off. Gently. There. She'll hold it up like like this, and she'll hold it off to the side, something like that. Yeah, because it's sore, right? Yeah. And poor Calypso, she has a limp. She hurt herself, but I mean, she's all healed up now. Um, Tess couldn't find the hole for love nor money, and I'm standing there like, come on, dude, it's right there. Get the hole. Get it in the hole. Because I like to see them breed and see the after effects of when they breed to see what the cow does. Does she want more? Because before they're bred, she will nuzzle up to the bull. She'll lick him. She'll love him. She'll knock him with her head. Sometimes she'll try to mount him. And they're all lovey-dovey. Like today, uh, Jackson was bred, but he escaped again because he was in his bullpen. He escaped this morning when I came out to feed the pigs. I saw him in here. Um, so we figure Jackson is probably going back into heat. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the bull in here for what we call cleanup. And if anybody has not been bred, he will actually breed them up and get them going for next year. We're doing this because we kind of, we know to trust them. The one he's after is that one but we're milking that one and that one so we're yeah. kind of safe because they will come if we call them so yeah we're not now they will but. yeah so we've been really busy and then you know uh me personally i'm up at uh i'm up a quarter to four in the morning um when they were here at first i was up a quarter to four get out turn on the sprinklers go check all the cows so all of these guys, even the bulls, I would go check them. Then I would go and check the calves to make sure they're okay. This is pitch black outside, and then I do a walkabout. Then I go back in. I go in the house, take 15 minutes. At quarter to five, um, I would be back out getting all the milking stuff ready to go. And at that time, Greg would be getting up, and he would be coming out to help with the milking. And then... I mean, you've got to figure out what you're going to do with all that milk, right? I mean, how we can we can polish off a gallon in about a day and a half to two days, I think. You and I personally. Oh, if we go out or drinking milk, yeah, we can go through about a gallon a day just drinking. Yeah. Uh, just at supper time, I'll drink a whole liter. Yeah. But it's with all the cottage cheese and sour cream and everything else. Yeah, it's. We, we go through a lot, a lot of milk. Yeah, and and like Greg said, like I make cottage cheese, and I mean I wouldn't eat store bought cottage cheese, but I will make fresh homemade because it's, it's it's just it's truly good stuff. It's good. It's tasty. Um, yeah, this is and Calypso. The one, and, oh. and the one thing too about like when you have a homestead, like your animals are part of your part of your life. Like we yeah. treat these girls with, you know, love and compassion. It's it's so nice to be like, there's our bull. He's right there. He's he's out in the open, and you know we got our other cows that they're so calm to be with us. Well, well right you, now, well like you know we can pet them and touch them. We can walk up to them. 
that's the beauty of a homestead is to love your animals like like everybody well your your home cows which which ideally on on a small homestead your dairy cow i mean she's your everything she gives you your dairy obviously your cheese and if it was back in the old days she'd give you your cream which you would sell for money she would feed your babies your children you maybe the neighbors she'd give you a bulk uh, sorry a calf which would either be a heifer or a bull calf which you could either sell or keep i mean they give their life to give milk for us so yeah we treat them accordingly now we're not going to keep going too much longer but i just wanted to say like I did say that was Ellie Belly, so this one that just laid down here, that's Calypsi. Calypso, and he calls her Calypsi, and I call her Calippi, or Calypso, it depends on the day. This is Star, or Starling, yeah, yeah. it's AKA Miss, little suspicious. Greg calls her Little Suspicious. I got pictures where she's always squinting at me. Yeah. This, yeah, we do love our cows. Sorry, guys, if this is boring. Um, he's just walking by Jackson. This is Jackson. Jack Lack. Jack Lack. She's a herd boss. She doesn't. She doesn't really do much as herd boss, but she is the boss of the herd. She took over from Jamie. That's Tass Tassling. Ling Ling. Ling Ling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what other? Tass Tassling. Ling Ling. Uh, wait, Tass, Tassling, Ling Ling. That's about it, actually. His full name is Tasselhoff, and if anybody knows that name, that's where he got his name Tass from. Um, he's a good bull. And Ling Ling comes from Tass Ling. It's not derogatory, and it means absolutely nothing other than I got it from Tass Ling. And I got Tass Ling because I give everybody stupid names on this farm for the cows. Evie, I call it Evilicious or Licious. What do you call Evie? I call it Evie, Evie Licious. Yeah, Evie well, Licious. All the Evie girls Licious. I, a lot of girls, I always call them like, oh, they're all, all the girls are all sweethearts. They're all except, sweethearts except, and they're except, all. Except suspicious. Yeah, they're all referred to as the ladies. Yeah. All, now. All the good girls. Out of all of these cows here, the one with the white face standing up over Jackson, she's a heifer. She's never had a calf. Um, given her P shape, she's either fat or she's prego. She could come and go in the bullpen as much as she wants. So I've never seen her come into heat, but because she can get into the bullpen, I figure she can take care of herself. Yeah, she's a yeah. She's not a fence destroyer. She's just a fence opportunist. Yeah. So if there's something wrong from something else, she'll just use that same path. Again. Again and again and again, she won't take no other fence down if she finds a hole. Yeah. She use the same hole again and again and again. Yeah. This this is Hershey. He doesn't really have a nickname yet, but he'll get one. Um, he is where I'm weaning them currently. Currently, Hershey drinks out of a pail because he's extremely aggressive with his uh, bottle, which I know you guys thinking, oh my God, he's a bully, he's aggressive. Get rid of him. No, you want. A, a calf to be aggressive on the bottle because it, it's health they're healthy you know good appetite healthy so that's really good this this one coming out by the gate and don't ask me why Hershey doesn't have any more nicknames he just doesn't but Hershey. no I just call him Hershey, yeah, I call him Hershey too, so. and that coming out is Finn and I call him Phineas Finn Finley and I think that's it yeah, he's got quite a few names, but that's just a play on his current name. He's going to be a black face. You can see that it's coming in. He's not dirty. It's just his black face is coming in. Yeah, so that's it. That's why we've been um, busy. There's a few other things, but we'll talk about that in another video. We just wanted to show you the two, two of our neighbor's cows that are on the ground and two of our calves. Um, the calves were drinking... Uh, two gallons a day, but now they're on two liters because they're on the wind down. So they're on milk, they're on hay, they're on grass, they're on grain. So they are absolutely good to go. The reason, if you wonder why we're bottle feeding our bull calves, enhance two young bull calves. 
combo. <laughs> yeah, combo. And we last year we were trying to get another set of calves out of here. Rusty was still alive, mm -hmm. and Rusty being being Rusty and Taz being both bottle-fed calves, we we were running around trying to catch two calves, and they did not bother us once. They actually helped us catch them. Yep. Yep. So there is an advantage, but the thing with Taz. We know he's in here. I can trust him, but I never turn my back on him. No, I, I always have to know where he is. Of all girls, the, yeah, I the, don't really. The girls are fine. Yeah. yeah, with Tass, he of all the bulls we've ever owned here, which would be three, uh, not counting these two, he's extremely smart. Extremely smart. Okay, so just a, a quick before we go, if you can see, he's he's almost suspicious too. If you can see his head where his horns would normally go. This is jumping all over the place. I don't know why. We got them dehorned as calves because... We got a picture with uh, if you want to see it. In, it's oh, a do picture we? of okay. them in the car. We'll put, we'll put it up. Yeah. We brought them in our SUV to the vet. and Oh my God, what a mess. But we did clean it all up. But they're dehorned. So when they're older, at least we don't have to worry about um, bulls with horns. Okay. Um, let's we wrap. Did it at the vet too. Hang on. Yeah, we did it at the vet. They 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 froze they froze the horns. Uh, it costed us. What was it? It cost us. I think it was seventy five dollars a calf. Yeah, something like that. They, yeah. They, they froze them. They they burnt them off. They gave them some antibiotics and they gave them some painkillers pain all at once. So we never have to worry about it. Yeah. They got home. They were a little groggy for what two two three hours when we yeah. got them home. Yeah. It was from the pain medication, and. Uh, yeah, they're totally yeah. fine. They were running around and and and, and uh, I will say the antibiotic was a three day, I think. Oh, they gave them an anti fly too. Yeah, that that was a silver spray. Yep, and That's the pay the headrest or the headliner of the car. Yep, and the pay. Uh, sorry, the pain meds I think was a seven day, if I'm not seven mistaken. Seven day. And the antibiotic was a seven day too. Or was it? Okay, I thought it was a three day. Okay, yeah. So, and and that kind of takes them right through. We we have a really good vet. Like the whole clinic is is really good. Okay, we should wrap this up because we have another video to make. We're probably going to be wearing the same clothes because, you know. Um, We're on the farm. I don't change very often. I wear my out to go to town clothes and these are my farm clothes now. Yeah. Oh, apparently I lost weight so I don't have to wear Carhartts anymore. <laughs> so that's if you're wondering if why I'm not wearing Carhartts. <laughs> we should have had you in them anyway. They'd be all around. But anyway, guys, that's that's us for today. Okay, let's wrap this up because we got another video to shoot. And okay, so this is the cow situation right now. The only one that you didn't get to see right now is our little JJ. JJ, and she is turning into a beautiful sweetheart. Yep. And I see her at least every other or two or three times a day or a week. Yep. So, so hopefully she'll be home soon because <coughs> mom misses her. Hopefully, hopefully. Mom misses her, and so do I. So, yeah. So, so that's it. It's uh, another day on the homestead. Yeah. So just remember, if you got a chores to do, just, just give, give her, her, eh? And uh, for once, I think today today is not too bad for smoke. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's smoky. You couldn't even see the her trees back there all in the hay. So I'm, I'm, I'm just going to turn this off while Greg is okay. talking because we need to get another video in so here. So anyways, remember, take it easy and we'll see you later. Okay, bye guys. Bye.